Let's go. Let's go. Best greetings from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Kursov, and today I will be talking about insects. Now, this is my channel, Dr. Viktor Kursov, entomologist, beekeeper, teacher. I announced this stream, which will be devoted to insects in Japan. Why about Japan, you would say so, because I'm from Ukraine, and by the way, I'm not Japanese, as you can recognize. But nevertheless, I will be speaking English for better understanding in other countries, because YouTube is just miracle you can join us all around the world. Maybe just now in Japan is still morning time, but still some people can watch me later. Nevertheless, Japanese insects are very interesting for me, because I have been in Japan a few times. So I've seen it on my own eyes, and I'm very pleased to share my experience, my thoughts, my ideas about Japanese insects, about Japanese people, who, how do they feel about insects, how do they study insects, how they can approach to insects. And I've been creating already a few of my videos in Russian language about Japan and Japanese in insects, and some also in English language, devoted to Bugs Hotel, insects collection in Japan. But this review will be about different insects. Well, probably some Russian-speaking audience who is just still watching me, just very much attracted by some Japanese channels. Actually, not Japanese, but just Russian-speaking channels about Japan. For example, some channel like a Pan Gaijin, yes, yeah, someone in Ukraine, someone from Ukraine who came to Japan and living in Yokohama. Pan Gaijin, hello, best greetings. Tori Chan, young Ukrainian girl, already a woman and wife, who just was married with Japanese men and now is living in Japan. And she was graduated in Japanese university as designer. And a Ukrainian man, he is just also artist. And some other families already living in Japan and enjoying Japan very much and working in Japan. I have been visiting Japan as a professional biologist, as entomologist, and I studied insects. Actually, I am been studying insects under microscope. I use special microscopic slides. I prepared very tiny microscopic slides and watched my material under the microscope, took some photos, and this was and made identification of parasitic wasps. These are tiny parasitic wasps just behind on me on this point poster. Parasitic insects belonging to super family Calcidu wasp. Calcidae. I studied through her Matida family. Very tiny parasitic wasps. Just one millimeter or less than one millimeter up to 0 0.2 millimeters. Very tiny. But all insects around still existed and I love them very much. And I'm very pleased to talk about them. Actually, if you want to talk with me, so you can also record this. This is my Skype. You can easily contact with me on this Skype or use this email. Oh, by the way, just don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Press here somewhere on a bell and subscribe and press on like. Subscribe. Subscribing will be just easy for our connections. So you will receive notifications about new my videos. Well, what's about insects in Japan? Some people are thinking the Japanese insects, but do love Japanese insects and insects at whole very much. This is different. This is different because people are different. Don't forget that more than 180 million of Japanese people, the population, by the way, approximately six times more than in Ukraine. I guess so, so, but still approach to nature and insects and invertebrates and animals is completely different. First of all, just the Japanese people, they accept better surrounding nature and so they watching for nature more carefully. But still some people, they take care about insects. I have been contact with entomologists who are studying insects different different groups but what about in other people first of all people japanese people will ask do you like our cicadas 
Cicadas. Semi. Semi. Because they are very noisy. Yes. And these so tiny cicadas. So you can see so tiny. Very tiny like my nose. Not tiny. Very big. Very big and very noisy. Semi cicadas. Okay. With transparent wings. Mimi Zemi. And with brown wings. Abura Zemi. Transparent. So you can recognize this. You see transparent and brown wings. So they are flying around everywhere in, in June, in July, and making their sounds, and they're very noisy. And it's uh, really very nice. I said, no, I, like, I love them very much, because they're noisy, and it's a great pleasure to listen to them. Also, there are some cocoons on trees, from on some trees, and these cocoons containing pupil, L uh, not pure and larry, but pupa. You see the brown color. This is actually dead pupa of moth. There are a lot of different species of deciduous trees in deciduous forest. So many uh, moths were just developing on somewhere in canopy, on trees, and sometimes so many of them, but you can see listen to some sounds. So just with this is just dropping down, and some uh, caterpillars were just crawling around in the canopy of oats, oats and other trees. And even once I've seen before pupation, all these caterpillars, they came down from trees and they were migrating. They were migrating like ants, like ants. So many of them, yes, because I've been driving my bicycle and I stopped because so many caterpillars. Unfortunately, I, at this moment, I didn't have my camera. I always had my camera and made uh, photos. Still not digital in this time. But I made photos of nature and Japanese insects later in uh, forests, in lakes, near river pad rivers, near ponds, in paddy fields. And it was a really enjoyable time. So, most they're very much around big size caterpillars were sitting and eating tree trees and shrubs everywhere and then later evening time we will be flying but in daytime uh, you know you know in japan there is a subtropical more or less subtropical climate uh, in southern areas from tokyo okay the temperate climate somewhere in hokkaido definitely we would call winter but already in, uh, around uh, Saitama, around Tokyo, in Nagoya, in Fukuoka, there is a subtropical species and such climate. And subtropical species of insects were living everywhere around. And some butterflies were flying already subtropical. And they're very colorful. Actually, in our temperate region, we have sometimes in summer explosion population of some butterflies, but very few. But in Nagoya, for instance, in Tsukuba, there are a lot of different citrus trees, like oranges, Chinese oranges, just uh, they're very so and not very tasty, but big size of oranges everywhere around, just in a courtyard of private houses. I even asked uh, this orange is the sweet or not? No, my colleague said they're very so uh, bitter and so uh, very not so tasty. But on these oranges, there are special caterpillars, caterpillars, papillo caterpillars, long tail, long tail butterflies. Very nice. So very, 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 very big, very green. I don't have here picture of them or just but if you touch caterpillar caterpillar will show you two red two if you're gonna watch on this caterpillar caterpillar will make it two horns two special horns because this is papillo caterpillar and they're very 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 common on orange trees because orange trees just a ornamental tree everywhere around near houses Definitely to go to 
watch for insects you need to have this, this magnification glass magnification a lot which can be big one or small one but much easier to watch for insects under the microscope under the microscope or to you using your video camera just open camera and just recording some insects at the present moment with digital camera became much easier than before because if you have camera with a high magnification like over 40 or 54 like i have camera sony with 54 magnification recording is very nice so i can record insects on a certain distance on a large distance so and the size of insects will be very big and actually you do not touch insect you do not warn insect and so insect will be behaving naturally and it's a great advantage to use a high magnification of camera so try to use it and of course this easy moving magnification on touch cameras like portable cameras like sony or panasonic is a very convenient and actually i use this stream on camera to keep it on me because when you are traveling always you can find insects or you can take a photo so take a photo take a camera take a video because can video camera allows to make a photo and video as well so what's about another insect definitely it's better to go to the nature with a sweeping net with a sweeping net for collecting for collecting and japanese children may go to, to the parks with the sweeping nets in our areas uh, somewhere in ukraine yes there are some butterfly nets in a shop and even some uh, once once in, in the summer i've met young child somewhere in the center of the city with parents and was going with a butterfly net but in japan it's very common if you could go to park everywhere in the park there are parents and and children and children with a butterfly net because yes because they're collecting cicadas cicadas or zemi semis and for them this is a great enjoyment so we're running around we're collecting not butterflies but cicadas because cicadas fly not so quickly very easy to collect cicadas it's, it's really a great enjoyment but of course japanese they enjoy big insects as well big insects especially uh, different different beetles different beetles in our area we have a, have a very common ladybug 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 running or run to the sun so we have this is counting but in japan we have very big rhino beetles and longhorn beetles and some japanese we do like very much collecting them in the nature even there are some special shops people are coming to the shops like we have a shops with it our pets shops and markets with the pets like dogs like cats like a uh, fish dog is much better than fish because dog can make sound and can understand very much fish uh, doesn't speak dog can bark so you and they can communicate and can work as a watch logs but in japan some dog not so many dogs actually because it's not allowed it for some people to keep dog in a private house you need to receive permission from the landlord even to keep small dog they say landlord say uh, this dog or this cat will damage my private property in this house and many japanese they they're just renting houses renting apartments and in the renting apartment you need to pay for your dog or your cat and this is very inconvenient and dog of course uh, can make some uh, noise noise and japanese way don't like to disturb another people so that's why to keep a dog or a cat sometimes a problem for them if they have a 
small size apartment. But some people, if we have, if we're living in a private houses, in the, in large private houses like a farmer somewhere in a village, a little bit outside of a city, in a private house, not in an apartment, we may have very big size dog and few cats. So we like pets very much, very much because you can communicate with your pets. But insects, this is a, another kind of pet, very tiny pet. Insect is smaller than dog, right? So this is a dog and this is insect, who is smaller. Insect is a much smaller, definitely. Of course, many people don't like cockroaches. They like beetles. That's why cockroaches, only Madagascar cockroaches, very popular in beetle shops. Because the hissing and hissing Madagascar cockroaches, very funny. And when running not so fast, if they are running, they will not survive in your house. So that's a great advantage. So they will die. Uh, I have in my Facebook friends one of Japanese young men who is just working in one of the Japanese museum, museums, natural history museum, and he has a great collection of a different species, more than 30 species of cockroaches in a okay in his governmental collection of a special insect zoo in the museum. Kahanawa? Probably Kanagawa, probably in Kanagawa Museum, if I'm not missing the correct name. In Kanagawa Museum, Natural History Museum, there is, a, there is a insect museum, and he has a very nice collection of different species of cockroaches. So beetles, some people are going for beetles to buy them in shop, others are going to buy plastic beetles, or just maybe plastic pets because they are very convenient and these types okay actually Chinese uh, replicas very more or less very simple but Japanese replicas 3D 3D replicas of insects so that's why you can even disassemble a beetle and actually has no wings definitely but beetles they have wings so they can you can disassemble Wings disassemble, legs everything, and then assemble again. So some beetles, some insects, replicas are very clever and very nice. As a really great, very nice gift. So and they are very everywhere around. Very common for children. So that's why we can buy it everywhere in in a shop, together with sweets. Some insects in Japan very common, like tombo, like a dragonflies in Japanese. Tombo, this is a dragonfly. Yeah, because Japan is not only semi-tropical country, but with huge areas, territories uh, all around the field with water because of a rice paddy fields. Paddy fields because some farmers still grow in rice, despite uh, great economical uh, development in Japan. Uh, in industry, in all types of industries, in electronic industry, agriculture is supported by the government and farmers they have support. So they are growing rice, so a lot of areas filled with the water, rice is growing, so they use insecticides, but not everywhere, not all the time. There are also some small lakes, small streams, and on this lakes, streams and rice paddy fields, a lot of dragonflies running, flying everywhere. These are big dragonflies, small dumpster flies, a lot of different species. So, and it's a great enjoyment for people to find them, to collect them, to hunt for them. So, a lot of different games, how to hunt for dragonflies, how to stay and catch it. Catch it, because dragonfly can fly very quickly. So if you are running, you open your net, dragonfly will just fly over your net or just change, change your way. 
and can fly very quickly. So dragonfly it's great maneuvering insect. So easy, very easy to escape. Okay, dragonflies everywhere. Nice insect for collecting in Japan. Dragonflies. Torichan, for instance, Torichan or Izumi-chan. We will we tell it with a lot of different bees flies around, flying around. So they're very annoying. Very annoying. Mosquitoes, beetles and mosquitoes. Mosquitoes flies flying around. And bees. Well, well, well. Mosquitoes, yes, they exist because of water. Definitely. Flies, okay, flies uh, flying around. She, she said also cockroaches. I've seen uh, like some flying cockroaches. Okay, flying cockroaches, what's the problem? Actually, I haven't seen flying cockroaches in Japan, never. But I've seen running cockroaches <coughs> near restaurants in Turkish Republic. Yeah, when I visited Alanya, I was very surprised because it was so hot over 35 in evening time and some cockroaches were running somewhere on road near restaurants. Yes, so I said, and I don't know, I would like to go to this particular restaurant because cockroach was running from one restaurant to another restaurant. But this is not the case in Japan. In Japan, everything is sprayed. Sprayed with spray. Yeah, with chemicals, with insecticides, rice paddy fields, other agricultural fields, restaurants, houses, apartments, everywhere sprayed with pesticides, with shh, with sprayer, with sprayer in it, which is starting from springtime, springtime spraying shh, everywhere around against flies, caterpillars, moths, beetles, against all pests everywhere around. I've seen in campus like a hardener was walking around the trees near shrubs and collecting one by one caterpillars okay always like some japanese gardeners even driver has his sleeves and he was in his sleeves and collecting hairy caterpillars just in a jar just in a jar i said oh very ecological approach so he collected in a jar caterpillars a lot of i said it's ecological no at all just in a lunchtime you see I've seen my big machine, spraying machine, which was just driving around just near shrubs and sprayed. Sprayed and it sprayed everywhere. And so after caterpillars were collected, just everything was sprayed with chemicals. And this is very common approach in Japan. Spray everywhere around. In Turkish Republic, especially in the southern areas where a lot of uh, different fruits, like ginger, like a fruit, figos trees, tomatoes, cucumbers, all fruits are growing. Also, very common spraying. So the same in Japan, everything is sprayed. So that's why in many rice paddy fields, cockroaches, crickets, and grasshoppers will not survive. They will just die immediately. So, but nevertheless, if it was not sprayed yet, some cockroach, not cockroaches, some grasshoppers, some grasshoppers making noise in a rice field and running around and eating sometimes rice field, in a rice field, rice. So, because some cockroaches, they do like cockroaches, some grasshoppers, some grasshoppers, they like to eat some rice very much. So, in a rice field, very easy to find dragonflies dragonflies definitely dragonflies grasshoppers near near rice field very easy to find crickets ants ants definitely everywhere around running everywhere around on trees and shrubs on just around everywhere around ants very common everywhere they are not coming again to apartments. Apartments are sealed very tough, carefully. Apartments sealed very carefully, 
So I have no AC and it's an apartment because also maybe every month we use Japanese, we use spraying everywhere, insecticides, pesticides around apartments to avoid any insects near houses. So usually apartment is very clean. No white cockroach will not survive after spraying heavy Japanese insecticides. One particular insect which is very common in Japan and which Japanese like very much, this is kamakiri. Kamakiri in Japanese, which means this praying mantis. Praying mantis is very common, running everywhere around in the second part of the summer. Green or brown and it's very popular because making just this just movement, searching for prey. And, we, and there is also a special TV program on NHK, program where one Japanese artist man he just dressing like a kamakiri, dressing like kamakiri, and he's making very nice nature nature studying programs about insects, about nature, about different species of insects like bees, bumblebees, dragonflies, grasshoppers. So there is a special program. In Enishka, we will come a Kiri Sensei. We will come a Kiri Sensei because he is dressing in a green clothes. If somebody from Japan will watch in me, please write. Have you seen this program? Do you like this program? We will come a Kiri Sensei. He has a special mask, green mask. If even he is just making kind of experiments, come a Kiri Sensei. How? Insect can fly. He used special artificial wings. Special artificial wings. Uh, program made a special artificial wings, and he just tried to make some flop flapping. Flapping was very heavy because he made maybe two, three flops in a second. But insects making uh, more than two hundred flapping with insects and can fly. But he was keeping his wings behind him. And he was just on a special rope, special rope, and then fall down just again. Uh, and you and try to use with wings because it didn't fly definitely. But program is very, very, very creative. So I really advise to search for some series of this Kamakuri Sensei entomological program, which is already uploaded on some channels in YouTube. I'm not sure about copyrights, but it is in Japanese and very nice Japanese program with Kamakiri Sensei as teacher. As a teacher making different programs about insects in Japan and also he visited even Indonesia. Uh, finally, talking about insects, I wanted to start with the beginning of with review of this very nice book, Motuhiko Imamori, Motuhiko Imamori, photographer and naturalist. And I already showed this book in my previous videos, but it's always a great pleasure to open, to watch, to just look inside this book, because here different insects photos not only in collection like spread insect like dead insect like this cicadas like this dragonfly mantis this mantid brain mantis this beetles grasshoppers spiders again white butterfly and this longy horn beetles we see spiders again but also here yeah, many very interesting photos in the nature about insects and actually book is separated on four seasons four seasons already now season of uh, autumn but i still like to show this photo with a uh, hotaro hotaro this is firefly beetle firefly beetle which is appearing in june you see very nice tiny abdomen with a light 
of Hataru, Firefly Beetle. But I've seen Hataru near the stream one way. Friend Muroi san, he showed me special village with protected stream where larvae and beetles of Hataru were under protection of law. Yes, it was a really great pleasure to see how Hatarus are flying near the stream because larvae of Hataru developing on snails inside very clean river streams. And it was very tiny stream, not very deep. And Hataru laying eggs and larvae developing inside water and hunting, hunting on small snails, eating snails. And it's very important to have clean stream because 